New Mexico Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham was in Las Cruces this evening hosting a town hall meeting on public safety in the city of Crosses. That's right. KTSM 9 News reporter Jesus Baltazar is live from the Las Cruces Convention, uh, Convention Center where that meeting was held. And Jesus, what was the governor hoping to get out of this? Well, the governor was just trying to get a message across that she's trying to make New Mexicans feel safe. She and a panel of experts on topics surrounding public safety, they addressed a large and lively crowd. I left the meeting just about 10 minutes ago and there were still over a dozen residents expressing their concerns surrounding crime and the dangers they live with every day. Well, the ultimate sentiment, New Mexicans do not feel safe. And my issue mainly regards the calls of retail theft are treated with very low priority. And we've even been told that they're low priority. It's time to stand our ground. We can't let them keep stealing, stealing and hurting, doing these things. I think the mental health issue is, uh, it, it leads to the, cr the crime, and I think it leads to the homelessness. And I just think these people need a lot more help than you think they do. Governor Lujan Grisham addressed an array of topics affecting public safety across the state. But the recurring theme, people with behavioral and mental issues being released back into the streets. Since 2017, more than 16,000 cases have been dismissed in New Mexico courts for competency released for not being competent enough to stand trial before a judge. And according to the governor, over 3,000 of them released for very dangerous felonies, including attempted murder, rape, drug and human trafficking. She welcomed creative solutions from the community and offered her own. There are actually two bills, commitment and competency. It gives judges the tools to give people who are frankly, extremely dangerous and repeat felons. It gives them a tool to do something about it. The only tool they have now is to have them right back in the community. Grisham said she has not been able to get very far with the state legislature and bills don't get far enough, but it's a start. Now I had spoken with the governor ahead of the meeting where her message was the same and she made sure she resounded it at the convention center that she needs the community's help to shift the conversation about priorities at the state level so that they can change laws that are allowing for these problems to continue occurring. For more on tonight's meeting and this story, you can visit our website, ktsm.com. Reporting from Las Cruces, Jesus Baltazar, Andy Monica, back to you.